What the fuck? This new NVIDIA thing is pretty freaking neat. Look at it. Look. This is green screen mode. You can green screen anything. Oh my god. So you can change the settings to where you just want to change like the sky. So boom. Look at that. Now it's just green in the sky. I wonder if you get banned for doing this. Like imagine this gives you an advantage <laughs> in multiplayer because you can see the outline of the dude from there and you're like and you kill him. This is cool for recording though cuz look. Now there's a hard edge there. I'm pretty sure you can change the settings on the screen screen to like <gasps> What? Look at that, it's nighttime now. In in what is this place? Hamada? Hamada, nighttime sky. Okay, let's let's see if we can tweak this to make it look better. Background color. Focus depth. See look at that though. It's almost bizarre looking. I find this extremely hilarious. I just was like screwing around because I thought it was cool even with just the um the hell do you call it? Remove HUD beta. Oh. Oh, that's not removing that. That's removing everything but the HUD. Um where was it? Depth of field. This one was neat, because if you've ever seen those like arc trailers from like Ark Survival Evolved and they always have like it like depth of field to about here so you can always see the detail in the trailer of what they're showing off this is neat because I would almost play Ark entirely with the depth of field on like this could hide the laud in the background the horribleness of like all the low quality models and it give you this cool sense of illusion or oops it could give you the sense of my dude has nearsighted vision <laughs> and he can't fucking see anything past here because like in real life I can't see if I were to take my contacts off this is what I'd be seeing the game like like if I went outside in real life it would almost look like this a little it's a little exaggerated because like it's extra round and sharp and I'm pretty sure we could change the blur c I don't know what the hell blur radius yeah like that so it would be like that Closer to what this kind of looks like in real life. Like I would have to get my almost microscopically close for things to look normal. So this is like this is like playing in. I'm trying to play in realistic mode. <laughs> this is blind, blind, blind Zeno. Like if I were to aim down my sight in real life without contacts or glasses, I could see my gun perfectly fine like this. But everything would be like, what the f is that? I don't know if you can see the post-processing effects in the G-Force. I might have to go to OBS Studio, but this is flipping fantastic. The fact that they had a green screen mode was hilarious. The first thing I did when I booted up Battlefield was to do this old film one. Because I'm like, dude, it's freaking World War II! Look! The only thing that's a little jarring about it is it's 60 frames per second. Ouch. But, um... This is pretty cool looking, you know? You want to pretend you're playing a game somehow in, like, World War II times? That's awesome. I just find that totally amazing. Let's pick a gun the British would have had. Or at least the Allies. That's a rule I like to do. Let's equip this. Should take that filter off. Add I've been messing with it, so you can add more color. Or you can change the color scheme. So like color intensity. Holy crap temperature get a cooler vibe. like imagine you load up like the cold map and you want it to look even colder than it did like with the sun outside you just turn that temperature down click on the style you want and boom painterly this is almost like cell shaded mode holy crap with it, some of the detail removed off the character and if this didn't look so splotchy this would almost kind of look like a PS2 game just with a lot more model detail. 
Like this kind of makes it look like the models aren't as polished and the textures aren't. But the animation is smooth and at a good frame rate. That is funny. Alright, um... Special effects. So what the heck is this? Retro? Whoa. So wait, what happens if we do this and old film? Uh, that kind of works. Sketch. So let's turn retro off. Sketch on half tone. Whoa, sepia. This is a weird way to play. I wonder if this would be turned off in multiplayer. Like I, I'm, I'm half tempted to try this in multiplayer, but I don't know if I could get banned for it. Because what if this does something that helps you s see people better? Like when I, like, like what I said with the green screen mode. You know, you just take some of it off into detail. I wonder if I could actually prove something here. I mean, this is gonna be a very specific instance. I wonder if he'll disappear in the background because he's so far away. No, the hundred meters is still seeable. So it looks like the HUD does not. The HUD counts as distance. This is very all over the place. Cause look, it's not green screen when it's rendered close, and when it gets rendered far, it's gone. But I wonder if this could help you shoot people. Am I not hitting him? Maybe it's making it worse. Body shot three. Let me go, but you could like perfectly green screen. That'd be useful for everybody who wants to record sh in first person. And I think I might have destroyed the graphics. Why does that look like that? Or it could be just the texture. Sorry. That's what I get for running the game at 1080p. Not some high resolution, but um, this is cool. Details, sharpen. You can sharpen the image beyond comprehension. Clarity, HDR toning. Whoa, bloom. Artificial bloom, look at that. That almost actually like works. Like if your character wasn't used to being in the desert all the time, I bet this is what it would look like to him. Like, I lived in Britain my whole life and then I run out here and holy crap, it's freaking bright. This is apparently is what the game's supposed to look like, and some of these filters almost spoil the, like, I want the game to look that way instead. <laughs> Litter box. You can actually, whoa, cell phone mode, guys. We got cell phone mode confirmed. You want to post something on Instagram, Twitter? Here you go. <laughs> Play Battlefield 5 vertically on your galaxy. This is what it would look like. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, stickers. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who would use this? Who would do this? Just load your own image in the corner. Boom. Watermark. That is... Why? Okay, tilt shift. Oh, that's a type of blur. Vignette. Is that how you say the word? See, I kind of like this. It reminds me of those YouTube videos like Freddie Wong, and then uh, Chris O'Neill decided to make fun of the video. You see these dark edges around video? They make it very professional. <laughs> that's what I always think of when I see those things. But this is this is fun to do. Like if I go back to colorblind, you can switch colorblind modes. That's cool. Cause when I heard saw this announced when I updated my GeForce experience, they're like, in my head it was like EMB with in all the games without EMB. But this is kind of like a light EMB, easy to use, and it doesn't do a lot. Watercolor. Wow. Pencil blurriness. Paint detail. Paint fuzziness. The noise. This is a picture. Take a still of this, boom, it looked like somebody watercolored it. Not gonna lie, it, at first it did look convincing. I still like this remove HUD beta.
because it did everything except remove the HUD. Back to the green screen though. Let's turn the background off. So the boom. Like if you just want the gun and the character and you need to animate something. Oh. Looks like the end of the gun's cut off here. Oops. Um focus depth. See, there we go. It's a little rough around the edges, probably because of the post processing depth of field, and if I were to turn that off. It would work fine, but if you want to get an animation of a gun and put it in like a video. I definitely turn the motion blur off, unless you absolutely need it for some reason. But this would almost work. Look, turn the HUD off. There you go. Oh, there's the sun. So the sun definitely would impact. And your first person shadow. Look, you can see a little bit of the ground. I didn't know I was in front of a wall. Let's keep running until we find a wall or fall off the mountain. Oh, oh, what's this? Whoa. It's almost like a game. The sad thing is, I'm pretty sure this game's rendering more polygons than like the GameCube or the N64 could ever wish to, just in this little scene alone, and at a silky smooth frame rate. The easiest way is to crawl. This is pretty freaking neat. Anyway, 